Welcome to the spoiler section. Spoilers. And we have something big to spoil. Guess who it is. Alex's assistant. Oh, I got to <laughs> unzip me. What are you doing to Peter Parker? Uh, uh, You're so sweaty. That was fucking hot. <laughs> what? You didn't expect that, did it you? It was you the whole time, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Surprise. Wow, you powered through that. You did get a little sweaty there. I can yeah. see it over here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not that's breathable. Gross. You need to wash <laughs> that. That sucks. I do. All right. Um, so, Spider-Man, let's just jump right into it. Mysterio Here's the thing. was we, not a good villain for me. Yeah, he he's actually Vulture. I mean, Mysterio basically is this guy that's disgruntled he, with Tony Stark. Yeah. He's a former employee that Tony Stark insulted or, you know, hurt his business, his life, his career. And not only is it him, but he also has a team of disgruntled Tony, former Tony employees, including Bob, Janice, uh, you know, Tim from accounting, <laughs> yeah. you know, all these. Mark, and, and it doesn't, but here's the thing. And what I spoke about and tried to avoid in the actual review is this film's enjoyment is going to hinge on how much you know about Mysterio as a character. So if you have no comic book knowledge and you don't know who he is, I think this twist where it turns out that, hey, he's been helping Spider-Man and he's shooting the the monsters and the CGI effects uh, and he's actually a good guy. Whoop, twist! He's a bad guy. It was illusions the whole time. And he tricks, uh, you know, uh, Nick Fury and he tricks everybody, including Spider-Man, into giving up uh, Tony's technology uh, that that you know edith which can control all of tony's technology and he gives it to uh mysterio that it's like we saw that half a year ago we saw it coming we predicted it in the trailer and to see it just play out on screen exactly the way we thought it was going to play mm -hmm. yeah. like mysterio literally just and i did, said yeah. then that if they follow it beat for beat i'm not gonna like it and yeah. they did they there, there was no well, we're going to be faithful to Mysterio, and there's going to be some so cool things. that's what I wanted to talk about. Be something kind of surprising well, in his character. tell us about Mysterio. He's just a fucking... In the comic. Oh, uh, well, so Mysterio just is a is an illusionist that wants to become famous by killing a hero, and so he, he and Spider-Man go off. To frame him and so in, in this movie, like, the expectation is Mysterio is going to try to act like a hero <laughs> by having an illusion, while Spider-Man can see through the illusions, and so he goes, this guy's a fraud, and now he wants to kill Spider-Man. And that's pretty much exactly what happens in this, this, this film. Mm -hmm. It... Other than for some reason in this film, and this is a huge point, this is a huge problem with the movie. At the beginning of the movie, what the Aunt May looks at the, the pretty much at the camera and goes, Spider Man, you don't have spider senses right now. And they don't explain how or why. And then later, and then so throughout the entire movie, he doesn't have spider senses. And then he thinks real hard at one scene, and then he gets his spider senses back. And he does his badass hallway. It's Daredevil really cool looking. And it's 2D when, when Mysterio's using his virtual world, Spider Man just runs right through and fucks him up. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. But it's stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the, the main problem we have with the film is that that Mysterio is a weak villain he mimics Vulture in many ways but Vulture was here's the thing that I have a problem with guys so just because we saw it coming does that make it bad because it is a faithful adaptation of Mysterio from the comic well I still think if this is how you're going to do weak. Mysterio he was done very well for being Mysterio. Well, it just are you going to knock the film for getting Mysterio the way Mysterio should be? Because remember the whole Kirk okay, Fluffle here, here we go. over the Mandarin, and the Mandarin was this twist, and everybody hated. So now Sonny's like, okay, and Marvel's like, okay, well we're going to make Mysterio who Mysterio is. But you don't have to write a mediocre or bad story and be faithful to Mysterio. The, the character Mysterio doesn't mean you have to have this lame origin story that's the entire film do something cool with it be faithful to him develop him as a character but do stuff that even do people original half the people in the theater if well actually at this theater at an early yeah, showing the majority of people in that theater knew Mysterio was yeah. a bad guy I would even say the people behind us was like did you yeah, like the I film didn't like, like here I people, didn't like yeah, it well. like Mysterio just did it for the gram that's all he did he's, yeah. like, he's just trying to get brownie point or popularity points that's it yeah and like you were saying no. if it's yeah he wants to be the best hero he just wants to be famous he, he wants to be, to be famous. the best hero he did no. it for the gram <laughs> Uh, I see what you're saying he did for Instagram, but Joe, no, he does it for power. I mean, he's in control of Edith, which is all of Iron Man's technology, and to so he can control a lot of things with that. Just to say that he's a hero. He's like, mm -hmm. this town needs, like, 
me to be the biggest hero. So let's give him if, some. If you want catastrophic, power, I mean, like what was his motivation? His motivation was a little jacked up uh, yeah. because of the fact that he's actually quite stupid. Once yeah. he gets Edith. Like, he could control, he could have yes. Edith make more Iron Man suits for him, become evil Iron Man. I was like, oh shit, maybe we're going to see, you know, fucking a cross between Iron that Man would slash be cool. Mysterio. That would have been a cooler idea. But no, they tie him into this, you know, he's mad at Tony. They already did that with the Vulture. They could have had him a completely separate guy where he was an illusionist, a theater yeah. guy, uh, and completely on his own story and yeah. on his own merits. But, you know, Michael Keaton was a more fascinating uh, performance and a more fascinating character than. Beck, it was his name, right? Quentin Beck. Uh, Quentin yeah. Beck. Quentin and Beck. and uh, although Jake Gyllenhaal does a good job in yeah. executing the material he's given, uh, while showing empathy for for what Peter wants, you know, Peter is off, uh, obviously having a struggle between uh, having the responsibilities of a hero and wanting to tell MJ how he feels about her and just be a kid. And I thought that was well executed with uh, you know Mysterio there supporting that. And you could still have that, but it's the other aspects of. Mysterio. Mysterio that, that sagged quite a bit. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it gaining uh, Peter's trust, and that's why Peter uh, says, you know what? You know, uh, he defeats all these fake elementals that he created himself. Um, the and then the gives him the glasses because he's like, wow, you, you know, you're you're Tony. He even looks a little like Tony with the beard and everything oh, yeah. with the glasses on. And he's like, here, he gives it. So that's that's how that happens. Uh, but, you know, like we said, I think it, it could have been executed a little better. They tease this multiverse. Doesn't happen. No multiverse. No. There is no multiverse. That kind of pissed me off because that could have really opened things up for us. Especially uh, when Mary Jane found out that in the next Peter phase. Parker is Spider-Man. Well, it could have been interesting. That's a huge thing, Joe. Yep. In the trailer, they spoiled that. And I'm like, well, maybe that was yeah. in a multiverse. Maybe that was a different universe. He that told that been Mary better. Jane. <laughs> uh, but no, no uh, the way they handle the reveal of Peter Parker to Mary Jane is just fumbled through. Mm -hmm. Now they're they're precious because they have good chemistry. Yes. So it was an interesting watch, but it's just it falls flat, you know, you're like, "What? Okay, fine. All right, fine. She knows now and, you know, she's a part of the uh, you know, FOS club, yes. Friends yeah. of Spider-Man Spider club." Uh, they have Ned who who does a, you know, a little subplot where he gets a girlfriend. Uh, he's like, man, we're going to be bachelors over there in Europe. We're going to be tons of girls. And then on the plane, he he tries to switch seats so that, you know, Peter could sit next to Mary, but he ends up sitting next to this girl. And they fall in love, but only while they were in Europe. Yeah. And then they break up at the end. I was like, hmm. I didn't care for that. Yeah, you didn't care for that? No. Yeah. I thought it was I funny. It, but I thought it was actually pretty funny, but then they kind of kept writing it and kept yeah. writing it. And I was like, well, yeah, that's his movie in a nutshell, The whole lovey-dovey thing is kind of What's annoying. that? That's his movie in a nutshell, where they come up with something neat, and then they just do it over and over and over again. And, like, this movie, for a Marvel film, especially one that follows something like Endgame, felt kind of ham-fisted and rushed and unpolished. And I don't, I don't know what kind it of is. there because it needs to be there. Yeah, it's, it's than like to it's, tell an interesting yeah. story. By the end, uh, here's the good part of it. J.K. Rowling <laughs> as... Um, J.K. Rowling. Like, Wait, no. What? Harry Potter. That, what are you <laughs> talking about? Harry Potter. Simmons? Uh, Simmons. J.K. Simmons. It's like, so, what? <laughs> so the one good thing is J.K. Simmons as um, J. Jonah Jameson. Jameson. Yes. That's amazing. He was, You're he was tying amazing. the universes together. Toby. <laughs> Toby yeah. McGuire Spider-Man. <laughs> Just absolutely perfect. And here it almost ties into the PS4 video game yeah. because he's not Daily Bugle paper. I mean, papers are, you know, going the way of the dinosaur. It's dailybugle.net in this green like little news yeah. clip like mm -hmm. he's Alex Jones kind yeah. of thing. And that was a little bit like the uh, the PS4 suit. I was hoping that maybe the PS4 suit might make an appearance. Nope. It might have. I yeah, mean, when there they was were a bunch of suits that he could scroll suits. through in the jet once he gets the confidence he, you know, to to be his own, to be like Iron Man. That's the thing that yeah. I didn't like. Honestly, it's so tied to Iron yes, Man. Yes, he know? needs to do. We his already own got thing. that film. <laughs> yeah, because like, all right, he has to pick up the mantle, whatever, mm -hmm. and then he gets the glasses. He's like, oh, to the next Tony Stark, right. and then they play the Iron Man or the ACDC yeah. song. Whenever he's doing the yeah. thing, I was like, that's Iron Man again. Yeah, if you're like, a big stop. fan of Spider-Man, you're like, okay, yes, we get it. Tony's great. Uh, Robert and then Downey the Jr. is great. But yeah. let, 
yeah. Peter be Peter, but no, Peter is essentially Iron Man here. Yeah. At the end, as he's even revealed, yeah, just like Iron Man is now in the public eye. Tony uh, Peter Parker is now revealed to the public. It is the last dying uh, thrust from. Uh, Mysterio that he recorded and then edited the recording. Maybe one of his lackeys. Yeah, the guy took it. Went right took the USB that. information yeah. and made it seem like Spider-Man was the one that created all the drones and then used the drones to kill Mysterio. And he said, "Spider-Man is Peter Parker." And he's like, "Oh my god!" And then the film ends. Yeah. yeah. So this is kind of just feels like a stepping stone for something better. Hopefully. Yeah, it is a huge. But like you were saying, but it was an enjoyable stepping it, stone. It was, but like you were saying, it. If you're going to use a weak villain and stay close to the comic, comic. book, it's kind of like you have Batman and then Condiment Man. That is a terrible villain. <laughs> you're going to bring him out and He's stay not faithful. He's <laughs> not Condiment Man. In this movie, he was. He doesn't I really guess. do much. He's like, um, all right, yeah. I'm tech savvy. I, I'll... Which, <laughs> he has 100 drones, and Peter Parker has the Tony Stark technology. Use an EMP, fucking throw in there, <laughs> bam, done. One EMP grenade, and they're all in a tight pattern yes. in order to create the monster. Bam, so one done. EMP <laughs> grenade is. And he well, knows no, I'll, 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 I'll ruin the movie even more for you guys. If any military showed up at all, if any country is, fires any rocket at any of these illusions, it would have destroyed the illusion. Yeah. Even fucking SWAT team shows up and starts yeah. shooting, it would have destroyed the illusion. And that is actually further proof by, in the film, there are two palace guards, yes. royal guards, um, British royal guards, and... They want to show respect to these guys because they're fucking badass. I love I love the little video of the little uh, – there's a, a Chinese tourist, and she's got her little son dressed up as uh, a palace guard, and the palace guards walk. Have you seen that one? Mm. It's really it's really cute. And But they wanted to show how badass these guys are, and so there's two of them, and they're shooting at two drones incoming towards their little museum area in their property. Mm. They actually down one. They're like, look, look at how badass these yeah. guys are. And they fuck up the other one. The other one yeah. is, is – shot to all hell but once it goes in the building like they're like all right we they can't abandon we're not going to chase it down exactly but i get I, okay they can't There's abandon two. even even for There's that they two, can't abandon right? the post. Yeah. <laughs> whatever so two military uh personnel can destroy one of the 100 drones imagine if some tanks and jets showed up it's over it's over for yeah. you know mysterio just not not a very compelling villain and then it's like where is he going with this he always makes sure like okay it's the avengers here okay the <laughs> yeah. avengers are not here because the avengers would fuck everything up mm -hmm. and even if he is able to convince everybody of his you know badassery and he becomes the next tony stark with edith how is he going to contend with the Avengers when they come back? He can't. He can't. It yeah. doesn't make any fucking sense. Him and his whole squad could not do anything. No. Nothing. Yeah. Janice, and though, she could steam clean his, th yeah, his, that's his cape. About it. But the only reason why <laughs> they pulled a fast one on Nick Fury is because he was undercover. Oh, he wasn't yes. even a Nick Fury. The final yes. scene <laughs> at the very end of the credits, if you stick to the very end of the credits, they show. You keep saying to yourself, I thought Nick was smarter yeah. than this, more so badass than this. He lost his touch. He lost his touch, but no, they're actually scrolls uh, mm -hmm. from the previous film, and uh, or not from Captain Marvel, and they were done. I thought it was well done. I was like, at least they addressed it. Yes. Yeah. So it turns out that Nick Fury is also on vacation, and he's out there on the beach, but it's a fake beach, and it turns out he's on the scroll ship. Okay, because I was going to say, this is the worst looking <laughs> yeah. backdrop I've ever seen. I was like, okay. It's virtual. Right, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> and uh, he gets out of there and you see that they're working and creating, you know, a base of operations on the, in, filled with scrolls and personnel. And like, where are my shoes? Who took my shoes? Or something like scene. that. Like, and then seen and that? you're like, was it setting up something? No, I think yeah. it was purely just letting you know Hey, Nick was on vacation too. This is a vacation film. Everybody have fun. Stop asking questions. I all right, Mister. Stop asking it's questions. There's gotta be something going. Stop on. Stop asking questions. I thought at first maybe that'd be Sandman at the beginning of the film. No, there's Rockman at the beginning. Sandman or Hydro. Uh, but no, those are those are just fake elementals from yeah. um, 
Mysterio. Yeah, and he starts getting his bad dialogue from the, his writer. Yeah, I like it. The like he's <laughs> like, even though you wrote a stupid story that doesn't make any sense, it's like good. I'm glad he acknowledges that there's nothing about this makes <laughs> yeah. any fucking sense. And, and, and at one point, Samuel L. Jackson, well, who's the, currently the scroll, is like, okay, now that is bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the it's, uh, they're coming together. <laughs> co- co- from the core, shit. Co- <laughs> yeah. the enzymes in the core of the earth, and he's like. Okay, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's the scroll, and the scroll realizes he's being had as well. Um, it just, I don't know. But how did the it, scroll know that it was a coded message from Happy? That is true. Sorry, sorry. I'm asking questions. Sorry. I want to ask you more questions. There's a subplot where Happy is dating uh, Spider Man's uh, aunt. aunt so and hot. at one point. At She's one, so hot. I'm going to keep interrupting you. <laughs> At one point, they're about to die. Uh, you know, the kids and Happy. He's trying to protect mm-hmm. them while Spider-Man's yeah, fighting just, Mysterio. Yeah. And he and everybody's like, ah, I cheated on secrets. my test and telling secrets. And he's like, ah, I'm dating Spider-Man's aunt. What? I thought we were being honest here. Why, why the fuck you do that, Happy? Because now you can put two and two together. Who has the hot aunt? He's a head of security. Who has the hot aunt? Me. Who has the hot aunt? Well, I'm, I'm Who's Sp- obsessed with Spider-Man. the hot aunt? Spider-Man. Alex what? is obsessed with the hot aunt. I'm not obsessed with her, but she's hot. Yes, you are, because you keep saying she's <laughs> hot over and over. Anyways, uh, so once they see Happy hanging out with the aunt in the future, they're going to know Peter Parker's Spider-Man. But it didn't matter, yeah. because at the end, it is revealed that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Um, so and man. he's going to have to deal with that. Yep. MJ did not enjoy this. MJ hates uh, web swinging. They tried. They, they didn't try to romanticize that where like Superman is with Lois Lane and she loves it and it's so lovely. She's like, ah! <laughs> She's like well, yeah, because it'd be different because like you're yeah. dropping as opposed to just yeah. saying constant. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's not as fun as flying with Superman. Chicks don't dig it, like, man. I tried. I never. <laughs> don't don't ever take me. No. Don't do that again. It almost like she almost like fell off too. She's like, Woo! <laughs> yeah, don't do that again. Mm. So their girlfriend and boyfriend now, and um. So maybe, hopefully they don't do something stupid where oh, she gets so mad at him and she's going to like some other guy and, and the fucking Green Goblin's going to go, mm, so good. <laughs> you remember that? Mm. <laughs> He's like, so I'm, this I'm, pie. I'm just kind of curious to so see what's going to happen now. Like, everyone's going to turn on him now. He's like, oh, mm-hmm. we see the, it was all that Spider-Man. Be, that could be dealt with so easily. He's like, look, I'm Spider-Man. That footage was edited. Yeah, but this is like a movie, so that's not... Yeah. So they're already... An EMP, what are they... Fix that? <laughs> <laughs> so he's one of EMP everything. Hey, one uh, infrared oh, yeah. camera. Sp- hey, it wasn't me. Oh, okay, we believe you. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, like it's going to work. No, <laughs> he's the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, you got fucking Nick Fury. Why doesn't he fucking vouch for him? You got all this other people. Why don't they vouch for him? They've seen Spider-Man save things multiple times. And obviously, if you explain, you know, all those monsters and how they turned into drones, this guy was a master of illusion, and he was the one that was doing all this stuff. Uh, the, the the one scene was pretty cool. The you know, he goes into a warehouse. They uh, wow. you know, Mysterio tricks him thinking that he's at Shield or whatever. Uh, and it turns out he's just in an old warehouse and he's using lots and locations, uh, playing with gravity, playing with locations and you know special effects. Really screwing with Peter yeah, Parker and, and Peter dead Parker. Iron Man coming out of the grave. That oh, zomb- cool. yeah, Zombie Downey zombie. Jr. Zombie Iron Man, spiders coming up out of his eyeballs, uh, eye sockets. And um, then he manages to hit him with a train because Peter is like, he's backing up. Boom, gets hit by a train. I was like, oh, who and I was did? like, um, <laughs> that ain't going to kill Spider Man. Right away, I knew the tra- train ain't going to kill Spider Man. Well, they don't. Bad guys don't check to see the the good. Like, how many times did uh, Mysterio kill Spider Man? He's like, "Oh, good, he's dead," and Spider Man just gets back up. A but lot. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna a go lot. check. He's yes. like, "I hit him with a train. He must be dead." Oh, I hit him with a car on that bridge, it's and he fell in the water. He must be dead. <laughs> okay, no. he is an average guy. It's not like he's super smart like Tony. He is super he smart. He is super smart. He designed. Uh, he, he designed did, Barf. Uh, yeah, he, designed, he barf. designed Barf. Come on. Hey, even Tony thought Barf was stupid. So. But it is pretty. Cool. It outsmarted it everyone else on fine. Earth. Fine. All right. So, um, what else? Got that plot line figured out. Talked about 
the subplots. It was it was a pretty movie, but you just can't. Special think Special effects, about it. great action sequence. Mm-hmm. Well, as he's basically tumbling and you know throwing uh, uh, the drones around there, bl- exploding individually, exploding as they s- hit his web. At some point, he even puts on a red and black suit. I love red and black, but Miles. even me loving red and black so much, I'm not really sure that fits Spider-Man so much. It's more of a Miles Morales thing. In fact, yeah. there was a lot of Miles Morales mm-hmm. kind of references. He's, he's He uses electric um, web slingers at some point, something you can do in the game uh, to disable some of the uh, drones. And, um, yeah, so we got that little plot line. So do they have anything else? No, anything I mean. Anything else, Alex? No, I Edith just... is even after death. Uh, I'm the hero. I'm the I'm hero. The hero. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Tony. Tony is uh is a funny man. Mm-hmm. That is funny. Well, yeah, he is. Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of good humor. I mean, this this is like the uh Aquaman of the Marvel universe where it's really pretty. It's really stupid, but it's entertaining when you when you're watching it. You're like, "Okay, well, I, I'm having fun, but you can't <laughs> think about anything cuz it's making any goddamn sense." I think the the problem was the way they executed Mysterio and yes. not the fact that they were faithful to him. That's fine. Uh, but you you could have executed him in a slightly better way and in mm-hmm. a different way and made him his own character instead of mimicking previous characters that we've seen and instead of having so many sort of little odd plot holes that jumps in logic that kind of break your uh, suspension of disbelief. So mm-hmm. that's it. Um, where where would you really put this film in, in the Marvel Universe? Uh, you, you know, you like this one better than, you know... There's so many. <laughs> yeah, no, like, we're we're going to have to eventually do a big video, right? Jesus Rating Christ. Them all. I, this is the final one in the Avengers, the Phase 4. Maybe now it's time to go and do... Is I mean, it we did though? it for DC. That video would be like two fucking is hours. It? <laughs> Shit, I don't know if I can watch all them goddamn films. Might go by memory. But this one, you know, it's not... It Those definitely doesn't break to top... Watch than some it's of the better than It doesn't than break top two. five. No, it's not even close to top five. No, it's not. Cl- I, I'm just. I'm trying to oh, trying yeah. to go through it. Top ten. Out of how, how many? Probably there? doesn't. There's like 22, 24 films. It's Iron Man one. I two, don't know. We'll have good. to think about that. You guys, let us know where you think this one places, and yeah. don't just make it the top one just because it it's was fresh good. from it's your fresh, memory. Fresh, so you're gonna don't give it extra cheat. points. <laughs> Dwell on it for well, a I don't bit. Even, I don't <laughs> think anybody thinks this is better than the recent Avengers, whether it's Infinity War or Endgame. Yeah. It's not going to be above those. Did you like any of the <laughs> other Spider-Mans more? No? No, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I liked, uh, you know, Incoming Into better. the Spider-Verse. I liked that more than this film. Mm-hmm. Um, I was oh, dude, I like to Tobey Ho- Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Tobey Maguire. throwing it out there. I really <laughs> like the Tobey Maguire versions, Joe. Um, and that's why I wish Tobey made an appearance in Spider-Verse, because he had that opportunity. But anyways, um, we'll, we'll probably see a sequel to Spider-Verse, so hopefully there's still an opportunity mm-hmm. to Good. see Tobey I like that there. one. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is he he uh, there's a subplot where you know you got this boyfriend uh, or no a rival uh, for Mary Jane. I did like that blip <laughs> thing. That how this they little Asian that. boy yeah. was like five years old, <laughs> and then he blips, and it's supposed to be five years later. He's supposed to be ten, but no, he was like seventeen looking. He's all handsome, and <laughs> muscular, and really nice and charming and a nice guy. But, uh, but and so I, he's I liked the way they did that in school, though, because, like, <laughs> yeah, they came back from Blip. We finished. We graduated high school, but they're making us do it all over yeah. again. So we got to go back to school. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. I would not do. I would not. Well, they did the Marvel thing because they did the same thing when they changed uh, actors for War Machine, where he's like, I'm here. Get over it. And I think they said get over it in the, in the little <laughs> fake uh, uh, news. Uh, they did school news where they're explaining yeah, what happened. With that the was super They're funny. like, ah, I just get over it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, OK. So now we just. Just ignore it. Get over it. I am not redoing like that. that shit. Are you yeah. crazy? Uh, so that that was funny. And at one point, he even uh, calls a drone strike on him. Yes. Uh, nearly kills him with a drone, but he's able to, you know, use his Spider-Man abilities to. He cut Spider-Man. Everybody look at that baby down. goat. And everybody looks at the baby goat, and he's able to pop out, blow yeah. it up, jump back inside. Hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> everything's fine. He does he does have his mask off a lot. Yes. And I was like, this. He, there's no fucking way nobody's going to recognize him. There are no him cameras. As, but but there is, it's oh, solved God. at the end. 
He's like, nope, everybody knows who he is now. Because I was like, good. I don't want to have to fucking deal with that if he's going to be that reckless with not, with not trying to show his face and shit. Because at yeah. the beginning, he's in his old Iron Man, you know, spider, iron spider armor. Mm -hmm. And he keeps putting on and off his face right before he goes out. I was like, oh, shit, is he going to remember to put his face on? And well, they cut scenes does. out from the beginning of the movie because there was stuff in the trailers that weren't in the film where the, he's like capturing a bunch of dudes and talking to the cops. He's like, yeah, I'm doing your job. I'm too busy. Now I got to go on vacation. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And that's like right before those oh, scenes. So shit. Yeah. So. The, the, the beginning did have a different kind of tone. It, it was, was weird. super weird and super wacky, but it kind of set a good mode. And I think they wanted to choose that instead of what they originally filmed, which is probably like, hey, I'm going on vacation doing your guy's job. Hopefully that's on the DVD and we'll see that. Yeah. yeah so once he went to, where was it, Italy or something? Yeah, they went to became, Italy first. He became Night Monkey. Oh, Night Monkey oh, was in Prague. Oh, we about Night Monkey. That's right. So, uh, What's he his gets name? It's an off-brand Spider-Man, Night Monkey or something. From <laughs> S.H.I.E.L.D., we get this new blonde character we've never seen before. I thought maybe she'd be a named agent. I didn't hear her name. Uh, but she tells him to undress and he takes his pants off, and Excuse she's me? gonna give him the iron, a black Spider-Man outfit, because they don't want Spider-Man to be known over here in Europe. But it's like, why does it look exactly like Spider-Man? It's still Spider-Man. Spider crawling on the walls, using webs. But, uh, yeah. but Ned gives him it's a Spider him, Monkey <laughs> gives him the name. Uh, they they cleverly try to make them all go watch an opera for four hours, and they're like, oh god damn it! Uh, but the kids sneak out and go to the carnival. Just so happens that the monster spawns. Right where he needs to spawn in front of the fucking Ferris wheel where Ned yeah. is. Ned gives him the name uh, Spider Monkey. No, Night, Night, Night Monkey. monkey. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> he saves the day. And it's MJ who really reveals uh, to Spider-Man uh, during Spider-Man revealing his identity to her that uh, he's, you know, there's something fishy. I mean, she it just kind of falls out of her backpack. She actually doesn't really have any clue. No, they figure it, 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 it out no, together. It. No, she got it. I know she, she picked, picked it up. She picked it up, but like, it was dumb because then it yeah. like immediately. Oh, this broken thing works, and I'm gonna show. It shows you the whole it bad guy's does evil the plan. Exact yeah. moment that he's you know tricking everybody. But all right, fine. So whatever. And uh, but she helps out like that because one of his webs is able to hit one of these things that's in stealth mode. He would have gotten away with it. If, One of your uh, pesky kids. Those damn pesky kids. <laughs> well, that and they, they, they magically got told you at the beginning of the film that his uh, Peter Tingles are off. Yes. And yeah, the Peter Tingle. <laughs> it doesn't make any I sense. Mean, I chuckled the first time, but then every other Peter Tingle, I was like, yeah. Well, the movie doesn't work if he has spider senses. And so they're like, oh, you don't have spider senses. He's like, wait, why, don't I, why doesn't he have spider senses? We're like, oh, we're not going to explain it to you. <laughs> exactly. We're just going to tell you that he doesn't have them. Because he would have known immediately, like, oh, yeah. as he does when he goes through that hallway, just destroying them very well, easily. Well, I thought they were going to do something where he's like, he's out of balance because he's in love with Mary Jane and he's conflicted and all this yeah, other shit. And he was going to kiss her and he was going to get him back. Nope. He just kind of stood up and went, I want my Peter Tingles back. And then they came back and then he had this fight scene. I think... The the fact that he doesn't have his Peter Tingles is fine. He's going through trauma, okay? Sure. His father figure is dead. But they didn't show it. They didn't no, if it was done better, yeah. then we would you know, we wouldn't have any problem with it. But it just it just felt there, you yes. know, for the reason of the plot purely rather than really tied into the story to where it doesn't break your suspension of disbelief. Well, yeah, they could have had a really nice scene with, you know, like a recording of Tony talking to him in the ship while he's prepping for the they battle. They had so and... much Tony. Oh, I know. <laughs> but... Too much Tony. Um, all right. I think that's it for us. I think we've covered yeah. everything. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, click the uh, subscribe button. Get uh, notified. And check out some of the sweet merch with the You Can't Buy. You can't buy that, though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can buy that. You can buy it right off my I back. Your <laughs> Joe will sign it for you. No, he won't. But uh, well, Hopefully he, he washes it first. I'll wash it's it for gross. you. No, we got to use I'll that. Spray it down with I'm breeze. sure there's more Spider-Man films coming. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next <laughs> Angry Bye, Joe guys. Show. Bye, guys.